Joining us now, U.S. Representative Raja Krishnamurthy from Greater Chicago. Uh, Congressman, thank you for joining us. Morning. Thank you. Uh, this is remarkable. And then remarkable also that you have a Chinese-owned company talking about First Amendment rights or just rights in general. Um, but can you take me to just, you know, for the, for the layperson, tell me specifically what I know, but for viewers, what the threat is and then how serious it is. Sure. Well, the threat comes in two forms. Let me just step back for a second. So ByteDance is a Chinese company that is beholden and controlled by the Chinese Communist Party. Mm -hmm. ByteDance is the parent of TikTok. And basically, um, two things are happening with regard to ByteDance's ownership of TikTok that form a threat. One is that they have access to U.S. user data um, and they have used that user data to target journalists, among others, hmm. uh, who are critical of the company. This, and they can do this, um, in, in, and they can use that data in other nefarious ways, which is a big threat. The second is that they manipulate the algorithm of TikTok to suppress content, which is critical of the Chinese Communist Party, and amplify content, which is favorable to them. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and so because of this, we have grave concerns, and as Mike Gallagher, the chair of the committee, said in your segment, every single National Security Administration official in the Biden administration has echoed this concern, and uh, we are acting in a bipartisan way to deal with it. Yeah, and it's also, I mean, if they can trifle with that, they can certainly trifle once again we could see social media trifling with our elections here now this sort of forced sale has happened before it's not without precedent uh the app grinder at one time yes. tried to uh link up not playing on a pun there but link up with a, a a chinese company and it was forced to sell correct successfully that's exactly right um, what happened was that uh, Grindr was um, initially acquired by a Chinese company, but because it had so much sensitive data, um, and as you know, it's an LGBTQ dating site, mm -hmm. it had so much sensitive personal data, especially about military and government officials, the Trump administration forced the Chinese company to divest this particular um, asset, Grindr. And users did not see any change in the user experience it sold very quickly it was a very valuable site and it exists today the exact same thing would happen with TikTok. again this is not a ban this is a forced divestiture right um and just like last time when the trump administration tried to force the sale of TikTok, many bidders came forward, and we expect the same to happen here, too. Okay. These are important topics. I want two, two quick questions, quick answers. But it's part of a broader push, really, on social media companies, like uh, 41 attorneys general, I believe, came out yesterday, kind of dropping the hammer on Meta, saying, listen, you guys offer no customer support. We, as law enforcement, are not going to be your customer service agents. There is a bigger message here, right? Not just TikTok, but social media media in general to have some type of social responsibility. That's exactly right. I think first of it, first of all, that social responsibility starts with respecting people's privacy. Mm -hmm. I'm very concerned about that. Parents are obviously. And so we need broader uh, privacy rules with regard to data that people entrust with social media apps, whether it's uh, Facebook or X or in this case, TikTok. Um, the other is, is that there's so much misinformation on these sites. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, the social media sites um, do not take any responsibility for the veracity of that information because of some loopholes in the law. Those loopholes need to be plugged. Quickly, your take yesterday on you're in Washington, D.C. now on President Biden's speech. I mean, by all accounts, from right and left, he needs. and those on the other side, the choice to 
take this year, both in Congress and going forward. Um, he was energetic, he was feisty, and I gotta tell you, that was one of the most spirited State of the Unions that I've seen in my eight years in Congress. Yeah, it was quite remarkable. Always great conversation with you, and I don't think anyone, considering the bipartisan nature of the support uh, with what you're trying to do with TikTok and social media, uh, I think we all applaud your efforts uh, there, uh, at least the tenants of them. Congressman Raja Krishnamoorthy, uh, come sure. on with us again uh, from Illinois' 8th Congressional District. Thank you for joining us this morning. Thank you, sir.